Hello everyone, it's the final week of 2022 and we're coming at you with one last acquisition video covering November and December, but we'll also be using it as something of a small update for the channel. But before we start talking about all that, let's look at a few things. First up are these two pieces out of China, both of which are somewhat peculiar for different reasons. On the left is a Type 03 Special Forces Woodland Camouflage that is somewhat reminiscent of France's CCE pattern. Not to be confused with the more widely seen Type 87 Woodland Camouflage uniforms, this Type 03 was supposedly one of the first standardized ones created specifically for China's Special Forces, and were seen only on a limited scale. Though they're not that interesting to look at design-wise, they helped lay the groundwork for more specific patterns and uniforms for specialty units. On the right is an Su-27 fighter pilot suit with a pattern that is very similar to the Oceanic Marine pattern seen being worn by them throughout the 1990s. Rather than it being a single flight suit, it's split into two pieces, which is a tad uncommon. Next up are two more uniforms, this time out of Haiti. Worn by the Research and Intervention Brigade, which falls under the National Police, each set boasts their crest on the front and BRI on the back. The two patterns chosen appear to be Asian-made copies of Atax Woodland and Atax Arid, which also feature the dreaded yellow tags inside, denoting them as commercial. It's likely the commercially made sets were chosen to be used by the force, and the decals were simply added afterwards. Moving back to Asia are two more sets from opposite sides of the continent. On the left, from the Middle East, is a curious looking woodland pattern with bits of blue in it, used by Iran's air defense forces. To date, this is the most well-made Iranian set we've come across, as apart from a few loose threads and bits of fabric, everything appears to be made somewhat decently, although the sewn patches leave a little to be desired. To the right is something of a strange one, as this pattern has appeared online here and there and is marked as Nepalese. However, no real photos of it being used have really been seen. The head-scratching part of it is that it seems to be a pixelated version of Nepal's current pattern, which has led to some speculation that it may have been a part of an attempt to update their camouflage pattern by simply digitizing it. Perhaps in time, more information will come to light. Next up is a pair of trousers bearing an experimental French camouflage pattern trialed during the late 1990s and into the early 2000s. This project, dubbed Feline, which was the acronym for the French version of Integrated Infantrymen Equipment and Communication System. It essentially was a project aimed at updating and pushing advances for infantry soldiers by focusing on just about every element of gear and equipment they would wear, from weaponry to communications, equipment weight distribution, to even uniforms. This particular pattern is perhaps one of the more common designs tested, with others taking inspiration from other European countries like Germany and the United Kingdom. Moving from one pair of experimental pants to another, we have the last piece, a pair of United States Marine Corps Marpat trousers in the early desert colors. These were trialed for a time before the final design was ultimately chosen, which among a few other things, dropped the black sections entirely. The pants also feature the early snap buttons, as well as the Marine's last name on the back. As far as tags and markings go, the only thing that appears to have remained are some light stamping along the inside of the waistline. Regardless of condition, these are truly a unique piece of U.S. Marine Corps history, and hopefully a full uniform can be pieced together. But that's pretty much all the pieces picked up between November and the end of 2022. Let's now shift quickly and talk a bit about the channel and what to expect in 2023. First off, thank you again to all of our viewers, subscribers, and followers who watch and find the content entertaining, educational, and hopefully helpful in all things military. We recently passed 95,000 subscribers, meaning that 100,000 milestone is right around the corner. Additionally, a tremendous thanks to all of those who have reached out to offer pieces, insight, and perhaps most importantly, information about different topics. As said in the past, the hardest element of making these videos is gathering all the information. Due to constraints such as not being able to easily access certain resources, find databases, collect information, we're just waiting to hear back from official sources, videos are often held up, meaning we have to jump from topic to topic. That being said, if you have any insight or info on a topic that you'd like to share, feel free to get in contact. We try our best to reply to as many messages as we can, but know that when the time comes around to begin work on a subject, will make a point to reach out. 
Speaking of multiple videos, recently we've been playing around with shorter form ones that are either under five minutes or even ones under one minute that technically fall within the YouTube shorts category. These seem to be doing pretty well, so we'll be putting a bit more of them out covering smaller and simpler pieces and subjects in between our larger and more in-depth videos that you have all come to know and enjoy. But that will do it for this little mini update as well as our final video of 2022. Hope everyone has a great new year. But to leave you, here is a quick glance at a few topics, in no particular order, that we have planned for 2023. See you all then.